you should be eating it immediately. Yeah. Right? If you, because you know five ten minutes after you eat, you have to go to the bathroom. So that's all toilet training. You don't want to go back and wander and eat the food over the next two hours. No, you want it put down, you eat and when it's put down in front of them, because then he goes to the bathroom and then it yeah. becomes a whole routine. Uh, if he hasn't eaten in five ten minutes and he's wandered off, it's gone. Take it away. Yeah. Don't give it back to him until the next meal. Okay. okay. Yeah. You know, uh, because you want him to learn to eat when it's put in front of him. Okay. No so, grazing. No grazing. No grazing. And they might may not eat their first meal when they. Yeah, they might be stressed out for a couple of days and not eat as normal. You know, yeah. Yeah. as well as they yeah. really want to get established. Okay. Oh, what's going on? How training we begin the process. You have to continue, of course. They are going on the pads. Mm -hmm. Notices were clean pads. Yes, they are. They're already being hit by about six months. Um, we but haven't been outside so much. Yeah, yeah, my others were indoor trained. trained. They would go outside, but they they were indoor trained. Yeah, uh, and our, they they would be playing, and all of a sudden they'd run off and like a child and go to the bathroom and then come back. On a pad? Yeah. 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 So yeah. I mean, that that's the way. I, I I want to continue. People yeah, go well outside but, also. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. But like one of them hated the rain. Our JJ. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. lift their paws and everything. Yeah. There's always oh, one like that. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. They'll always show you signs that they need to go. You know, yeah. five ten minutes after eating, a couple minutes after a drink of water. Sniffing around. Water stays down all day until nine o'clock at night, so, so you don't set them up to fail. You don't want them yeah. to have a big drink of water before they go into bed for the night. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, I I don't have a beer before bed. <laughs> <laughs> or a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> um, Our pups, okay, so they've been sleeping. We bring them upstairs every night. So we have a room that they sleep in. They know there's a whole difference between the uh, other. I don't care where they sleep in your house, but they need to sleep with you. Yep, you know, I have an X-Pen set up in the bedroom. Okay. You know, so it doesn't matter if they're in a bed, a dog bed, on your bed, it's great, but it's gotta be in your bedroom. So the first couple of nights, they're gonna wake up at two, three in the morning, not because they need to get up, but because they've never slept alone before. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, in Tiger's case, it's the first time he has been in a pile of dogs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that'll freak him out, so you have to reassure him, it's okay, so we have to go back to sleep. Yeah. yeah, so that's what we intended to do. We're not gonna put him in the kitchen or anything like that in the room, so. Yeah, yeah. It's in the bed, uh, not yeah. in the bed, but in a pen. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, you know. He can even sleep in his Sherpa bag. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's quite happy. So, it's, so I, you know, I'll just like blankets and set up in some of my bed, and I can put that in, and just right beside the bed, like I put it really close to yeah. the bed, so that you can see me. Right. So. Yeah, exactly right. Exactly. Right. Cool. Hello. Um, <laughs> just remember, first thing in the morning when he wakes up, he's got to go to the bathroom. Yeah. You know, you can't fool around for five minutes yourself. You got to take him immediately to the bed. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Grooming. So he's freshly bathed. They cut his nails yesterday. Um, yeah, I saw the pictures were great. Yeah, I mean, you have all your tools. You have your pin brush and your spray foam and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I have all that. Yeah. Um, what's the frequency if you get like professional grooming? What do you, what's your thing on professional grooming? You have a, well, every you dog go? is different. You know, your lifestyle affects everything. Yeah. But every three weeks or so, you probably want to have three to four weeks. You want to have a bath. You know, yeah, you want yeah. to have a You can tell when they start uh, nodding. You yeah. know that they're. Initially, the nails will start catching on stuff. Yeah. The nails yeah. don't need to be cut every 10 days to be cut. You won't need to be groomed that often, but the nails will. Yeah. Can you do your nails? Are you able to do that? I did grooming yeah. in school and nails, so I could try it. Yeah. 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 It's just the tips. I'm using. I'm not using a gelatin or anything right now with puppies. You can use this. You know, okay. oh, easy, okay. easy, easy. Oh, okay. You know, and just take the ends off. Yeah. All you're doing is taking the ends off. And and never cut without sticking powder, right? Yeah. Without the powder. Oh, yeah, you got to school. Yeah, I forgot. We make the same kit, but one cheese. Are you in Guelph? Pardon? You in Guelph? Uh, I went to Sheridan. You went to Sheridan? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Great. She starts a new job next week at a vet. Yeah. yeah. Which one? Um, I used to work at Mississauga Oak Hill Veterinary also. Yeah. And then the emergency just was a lot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Very, nuts, 
a little depressing. <laughs> 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 it's the reason I never became a vet. It is depressing. Yeah, so now I'm just looking at it. It's called up 